Hey Dana, it's Brandon from Heartwood. I'm sorry I missed you when you were here, so I'm doing something I've not done yet, making videos specifically for somebody looking at a boat. So this is a 2005 240 Series Sun Deck we just got in. And since I didn't get to tell you Saturday, I'm gonna show you today why it's so great. So the 240 Sun Deck's the only true deep V bow rider deck boat there is. It's only a three degree bow ride. So what that means is it's always smooth and on plane. That's why they ride so good. This is a pewter gel coat. It's in beautiful shape. It's got stainless rug rail. See how it's equally shiny from where the cover is all the way down. So it's always stored well, probably inside. Okay, coming back here. It has a nice big extended swim platform, trim tabs, Bravo 3 counter rotating propeller out drive. That's why they maneuver so easy. The single prop boats just spin and spin and spin. Momentum gets a boat on plane. This sets it on plane. Parallel park it. I'll show you how. See what it also does? Diamond plated skid proof everywhere. The cheaper way to do this is to tape it off and sand and they blow gel coat over it. The diamond plate's a lot nicer. It's a lot better on your feet. doesn't wear them out. And it's a nice surface so you don't slip off. Sea Ray uses GG Schmidt Industrial Ladders. The outdrive right now is in the trailer trim position. It'll never be that high. So when you get in and out of the boat, you don't have to worry about that. Coming over here to the starboard side. Still beautiful shape. I mean, it's hard to fault this boat. It's only got 273 hours. It's powered by 5.0 multi port injected Mercury Mercruiser. It's got Smartcraft instrumentation. We'll take a look at that all inside. C-Ray cleats. The reason C-Ray went away from the pop-out cleats is pop-out cleats are spring-loaded and there's a plate on the outside and inside of the fiberglass. On this lake where it's rough as sin, you pull the cleat out, push the plates together, stress crack everywhere. That's why C-Ray doesn't do that. Let's jump up in this bird. Back here, another thing to kind of show you. It's not what we see that makes boat great. It's the quality of the hardware that holds it together. So all the lids and stuff are what they call resin transfer molds. It's an injected waffle maker kind of thing. Full piano hinges instead of cheap little kitchen cabinet hinges. Back here we have a transom shower. People say we never use this, but we need to use it if we get stand on our feet like a Frankie Lewis or Captain Ron's. As it gets underneath the carpet, rubs the backing off, and all goes to hell. So we got the full cockpit bimini top. This has the factory wake tower, aftermarket speakers with a great big old lamp. What's nice about the factory tower is you can maintain the factory bimini top so the whole cockpit of the boat will stay in the shade. Most boats with this, you lose this shade. Right here we got a little refreshment center to make me a sandwich. Stainless cup holders, we got two tables, one spot for a trash can. One table can go here, one can go up there. Come on in, Bill. This boat weighs 4,600 pounds dry. We haven't cleaned it again. Hopefully you can see it's kind of dirty, but it's actually in damn good shape. How clean the motor compartment is, that's a 50260. Great motor for this boat. In here, we got dual batteries with a switch. Switch is here. Batteries are here. Trim pump, water pump. This is all egg crate sound damping material. Storage in here, place to put great big things, as well as keep our dock lines, ski ropes, that kind of stuff put together. Two captain chairs to flip up bolsters. Ski storage in the floor. And this is great big and deep. Here, and it goes way up under. Then there's actually more ski storage in the floor up there for stuff you don't hardly use. This is a big, thick, and heavy part and piece. The track is actually built into the mold versus cut out. Stainless steel latches, gas assisted strap to hold it up. So it's just as solid as the floor of the boat. Now, this is one big piece of tempered glass. There's no break in it. It's much nicer, heavier part and piece. You can actually pick yourself up on it. I wouldn't dare do that in a cheap boat. Shut the window. There's no weird line or anything. So this is all nice to block the wind on a day like this. It's called a slam latch because you just slam it and latches. In here, we got bow filler cushions to make it bow into a bed. We got a CD player, a uh, place to put a cooler, and the owner's manuals. Inside the head, this is a pump out. 
There's actually good headroom in here. Some of them are some Perlini rooms. See, I'll show you. Hello. Now, come over at the helm with me. we got a flip-up captain chair. It's 12-person capacity. Cup holder for the driver so they can drink juice. Nice burlwood finish. 4-in-1 gauge. This is our smart craft gauge, which tells us everything. Stereo control, trim tab control, buttons and switches. Coming up into the bow, nice loungers. Oh no, here's the cup holders, more storage. We've got a cooler here, anchor locker, and a shower to clean our anchor when we get it out of the water. So again, the ballot filler cushions will fill this up. We can lay, lounge around, do whatever. Well, I appreciate the opportunity, and I hope you like the boat.